What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's quick video I'm going to quickly show you how you can actually free up a ton of space here on your iPhone device so you can actually get rid of those pop-ups which say that your phone is actually full and you need to free up storage. You do not need to always pay or buy for iCloud Drive space. You can actually do a lot here with your phone. Just by hopping into the settings, you can actually free up a lot of space because we actually do have a lot of useless files or temporary cache files on your iPhone that occupy a lot of space without actually being necessary, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to free up a ton of space in today's video. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech-related issues and I also share cool tech hacks and tutorials. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to YouTube channel. Now jumping straight into the video in here, the very first thing that I would ask you to do is to hop into settings real quick on your iPhone, scroll down all the way to general, tap here on general, and then tap here on iPhone storage. Now what iPhone storage does, it's basically a settings option in here on your phone that allows you to actually view or have a representation of every single app and how much storage each of those apps is actually consuming. This is very important because you can actually get a detailed a picture of how your storage is being eaten up. A lot of people don't know about this settings page in here. Some of them do, but a lot of them do not know. And this is the essential first phase of actually getting to know what's actually consuming a lot of storage in here. So freeing up storage isn't something very straight to the point, like tapping on a button and then everything gets cleared. That's not how it works. You need to hop from app into app to find out what you can actually clear. So first things first, giving a look here at the apps, we can see that iCloud Drive, WhatsApp and Photos and Instagram are actually occupying a lot of space on my phone. So I'm gonna give you the common tips as well, okay? The most common apps which occupy space in here are WhatsApp, photos and drive or files on my iPhone, okay? So the very first thing that I would recommend you guys to do is start from the apps that occupy a lot of space. For example, we've got WhatsApp in here and if you hop into it, you will be able to see that we've got app size which is only occupying 220 megabytes but the documents and the data are occupying over 27 gigabytes of storage. This is a lot. Means that in documents and data we're referring to pictures and videos and voice chats that we keep on receiving and forwarding within our WhatsApp application. So the next thing you want to do in here for example if it's WhatsApp the case hop straight into WhatsApp open up the application application and then go straight to settings here at the right and then simply tap here on storage and data okay so you want to manage everything okay so simply tap on manage storage and over here you can have a broader representation of what's eating up a lot of storage and WhatsApp makes it easier for us because if you scroll down you can see which chats or group chats are actually consuming a lot of storage in here you can see that this chat occupies over four gigabytes of storage this group chat occupies over three gigabytes of storage okay and if you actually hop into that specific group chat you'll see that most of the files are actually useless files forwarded or temporary files such as for example news i've got an uncle of mine which keeps on sending me every single day the weather of the day right i do not need to keep that stored in my phone because that's something that will expire on the next day it won't matter on the next day because yesterday's weather won't matter for me in the next day right so over here you've got 20 gigabytes used and if you tap here on larger than 5 megabytes you can see the files which are occupying more space the heavier ones okay the heaviest ones okay for example if you see in here we've got these three videos in here occupying over 360 megabytes as you can see 360 360 and 360 each if i simply tap on select and i select this three okay and then I simply tap here on delete and if I tap here on delete items you'll be able to see that I've just freed up one gigabyte of storage which is a lot this is a lot so over here we're going to decrease from 27 all the way to 26 okay just in a few steps by analyzing the proper files and deleting the proper files you can actually get rid of a lot of useless information that you've got in here on your phone so if it's WhatsApp which is one of the most common cases make sure you hop into manage 
and delete as many videos and photos as you can, which you do not need, specifically from group chats, okay? See, now we're on 19 gigabytes, we're on 20, just in a few seconds. Now, another tip that I would give you that will be useful in the future is to hop here into settings, okay? Tap again on storage and data, and then make sure that you turn off this option of media auto download, okay? So you wanna make sure that videos and photos, stuff like that, are actually set to not be downloaded automatically. For example, you are in the group chat, you've received a strange video which occupies over 200 megabytes, your phone will automatically download it. You do not need to download automatically. If you turn this off, you'll need to tap in order to download every single time you really wish to watch a specific video. And this will also save up a lot of your data on your phone and your battery health as well. Because if you're simply auto downloading stuff, you're just driving on your car and your phone is constantly communicating and an changing data packets with the server, which is something that will actually make it work on background tasks a lot, okay? So this is the first tip if we are talking about WhatsApp in this case. We've talked about WhatsApp, let's move into the second tip in here. Now, what I would recommend you guys to do is to hop into photos and double check exactly how much data you've got. You've got a lot of videos being occupied in here. For example, we've got over eight or nine gigabytes of storage just being occupied by your photos. Open up photos and double check what's actually consuming a lot of space. Nowadays, we do have a much easier option or feature that allows us to see the size of each specific file in here. Normally, videos, they occupy a lot more space. So what I would recommend you guys to do, for example, hop into videos. For example, here I am. I've got this video right here. And if I tap on this little eye option in here, I can see that this video occupies over three gigabytes of storage in here. This is a lot. So by simply deleting this video right here, I can free up a lot of space. I can free up three gigabytes just by deleting this video right here. So getting to know what is actually occupying a lot of space, you can now delete it, simply delete it, or you can just back it up into your iCloud drive if you have a lot of space over there. But this is it, this is how you identify a lot of heavy stuff on your iPhone and you can actually get rid of that by simply deleting that real quick. Or if you don't wanna delete, you can also transfer it to your laptop, to your computer, if it's something very important, okay? And also double check because normally WhatsApp downloaded media files, they also get stored on your photos app. So if they are stored in your photos app, you'll be having two different files and duplicated files, one on your WhatsApp and one on your photo library. So double check if you do not have duplicated files because WhatsApp has an independent storage where it stores all the files. Now, another tip that I would give you guys here on photos is for example, if you do not want to lose, for example, a specific image or something like that, what I would recommend you guys to do is to download Google Drive. If your iCloud Drive is full, this is a good hack. Download Google Drive or Google Photos here from your app store, okay? So you can download Google Photos or Google Drive, okay? Simply create a free account on Gmail if you do not have one. If you have it already, cool, just open up your Google Drive. And once you're here on Drive, what you need to do, you just need to transfer those files to your Google Drive. Very, very easy. Simply tap here on plus, okay? And then you wanna upload a file. Tap on upload a file, select photos and videos in here, and then simply give access by tapping on allow full access or limit access. I'll go with limit access as of now. Let's say that I wanna upload this picture right here. Okay, I'll select the picture, I'll tap on done, and then select again that specific picture, upload. Okay, so this file will be uploaded to my Google Drive real quick and this will work as a backup. As you can see, here we go uploading one item. It's almost done. The file has been uploaded and it's now stored in my drive of my Gmail account. Okay, so once it's here, I'm good to go. I can now just open up my photos application in here and I can quickly delete and get rid of that specific photo, okay, or video. So that's work around on how you can actually also back up some space here from your photos app into your your Google Drive if your iCloud Drive is full. Now, last but not least, I would like to give you another tip which is very useful in here on your iPhone. For example, if you hop into general real quick and then tap on iPhone storage, there are specific apps that automatically download 
temporarily files okay for example if you open up facebook real quick you'll see that facebook has an app size of 350 megabytes right but it has documents and data occupying over one gigabytes but facebook doesn't really store anything from my point of view as a user okay because i just open up facebook whenever i have internet access and i navigate on facebook right to see photos and videos from people but in fact facebook because they want to give you a better experience so what they do is as soon as you open up Facebook it's going to download automatically a lot of files if I simply disconnect myself from the internet right now I don't have any internet connection and if I simply go down you'll be able to see that this picture has loaded already this one as well and it's even playing it's a video but I'm not connected to the internet this is because this has been automatically downloaded to my device and it's stored in the cache files or temporarily files so what I would recommend you guys to do is to simply delete the app by uninstalling and then reinstalling that specific app this will free us about one gigabyte of storage okay see how easy this is let me quickly connect to my internet connection real quick here we go tap on delete app delete the app and then simply download Facebook again from the App Store hop into App Store real quick I'm going to download Facebook again here we go facebook i'm in app store let me tap on download here we go download has started and as you can see facebook only occupies 369 megabytes as we saw before right the entire storage was being occupied by temporarily files okay it's almost downloaded i'm gonna show it to you right now let me quickly go back okay to settings right now let's hop into settings okay iphone storage again you can see that facebook now occupies only 363 Three megabytes and remaining documents and data that, that was occupying one gigabyte has vanished because of the temporary files so this is something that you can do with apps like Facebook with apps like YouTube with apps like Instagram as well because those are apps that automatically download and background a lot of stuff and temporarily store on your iPhone we've got Instagram as well doing the same thing with almost two gigabytes of storage you can do the same you can do the same with YouTube and Google Maps and a lot of apps like those okay so like this you can easily free up a lot of storage from your phone and as you can see we've already freed up in here almost three gigabytes of storage just by analyzing the proper and the exact files that we've got in here another thing that I would recommend you guys to do is to hop into files real quick okay and over here into files you want to make sure what's on your iPhone if it's up on on my iPhone these are physical files that are stored on your device so double check if you have something that you do not need and get rid of it go back tap on downloads as well these are files that you've recently downloaded into your phone from the browser double check as well in here for example you can tap on this three dots and tap here on size okay it can be on date it could be on kind or on name so you want to make sure you change it to size in order to see in an order of the biggest file to the lowest this one is the biggest for example if i press and hold in here and if i tap on get info you'll be able to see that this one is occupying 9.85 gigabytes of storage and this is a file that i've downloaded a lot a long time ago i didn't even know that it was in my phone if i hop into my iphone storage here we do have 122 gigabytes of storage left right let's go back into files where we were in here okay and then let me quickly delete this let me press and hold let me tap here on delete and then let me go back let me go back let's tap on recently deleted you also want to double check if you do not have that specific file here so you want to check it here to see if the file has been also deleted from the recently deleted file now once that's double checked go into settings and you'll be able to see that your iPhone storage will actually decrease in terms of size in just a couple of seconds or minutes it's processing it's loading everything and this will decrease by nine gigabytes okay just wait for a couple seconds now this is how easy you can actually reduce a lot of space on your phone by simply hopping into the correct applications in order to delete useful data which is occupying a lot of space on your phone thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if you find my content useful consider subscribing like the video and let me know in the comments section if you've got any doubt and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching fixed by shack and i'll see you in the next one have a great day